Hello everybody and welcome back to Ren Gaming. I want to have a little talk tonight about the new uh, 970 from NVIDIA. Um, I haven't got one but three of my good friends who I will list in this later on have all been running benchmarks and in the interest of fairness we've all tried to keep the systems kind of the same and the benchmarks have been running the same way. Um, they've sent me the data, I've made some graphs, make a video, put it up. Um, we've got the EVGA ACX the Palette Jetstream and I can't remember what the other one is and the Asus Strix there we go, that's the three cards and um, a friend of mine with a 290X, he's got the vanilla one the, the, you know, the, with the horrible blower on it um, was kind enough to run some benches the same um, it was good of him because I think we all knew how this video was going to turn out um, but fair play mate, thanks for your help, and like I say, I will list you all in the, uh, in the video as well. So without further ado, I'm just going to show some graphics cards, because that's what this is about. Let's look at the benches. So, it's another graph, yes, another graph on Ren Gaming, this doesn't happen very often. Anyway, you can see what we've got at the top, we've got the Asus Strix, we've got the e EVJ uh, ACX, uh, the Palette Jetstream and the Vanilla AMD 290X because as I say they're all around the same price so bang this is the only one Tomb Raider anyway I'm, I'm getting ahead of myself so Tomb Raider 57 on the Strix uh, 60 on the EVGA 61 on the Palette and 62.1 on the AMD card um, Tomb Raider was really in an AMD game with the tress and everything. There's no tress on these at all. I've turned them off um, and this is running four times AA. Um, so then we go on to Metro. I, sh I should explain this really. Um, no AA and no PhysX. Now the reason we've done this as I said in the intro is because everyone's systems are slightly different that we've gathered this information from. So we tried to make it as fair as possible. Um, but Metro 2033 we've got uh, 76, uh, 78, and then we've got a 79 and a 66 on the AMD card. Now Arkham Origins, the big difference here, um, I'm, uh, then again the Batman games are kind of Nvidia led so this type of thing always happens. Um, 148, 151, 152 and 100 bang on there for the uh, 290X. Um, Bioshock, those, are the, you know, those who've watched my channel know this isn't a terribly well optimized benchmark anyway, these frame rates are ridiculously high. Um, Bioshock has got no AA on it at all. This is 137, 141, 140, and 122 from the AMD card. Now, Assassin's Creed, this is just four times AA uh, with no physics. So we've got 58, 59, 58.5, and 51 frames per second again from the AMD card there. Battlefield 4, uh, four times AA. Uh, 77 from the Asus Strix. 79.6 from the EVGA card. That's a great score. Uh, 71 from the Jetstream and 68 again from the AMD card. Um, Crisis 3, again, Crisis 3 is going to test anything no matter what you throw at it, it's always going to be hard. Um, but we're running this, uh, these are all at 1080, but we're running this um, on max, but we've only four times AA. Uh, 41.2, 42, 42, and 42.5. So kind of spread across the board there, the AMD card actually does quite well there. And then on to Metro Last Light with no AA and no PhysX um, in the interest of fairness again. So we've got uh, 80.4, 83, 84 and 70.8 on the AMD card. So as you can see, for the price bracket, so let's say 250 to 300 quid-ish, the newer cards for NVIDIA are working far better. They're also far more efficient. Now this is going to be um, the selling point for a lot of people these days. The um, the Strix is almost silent, as is the um, EVGA, because they only ramp up when they have to. The fans won't spin until the GPU, uh, till the GPU gets to a certain temperature, so they'll stay, they'll stay nice and quiet. Now, I could have boosted these a hell of a lot more by enabling Uber mode, but that's not what this benchmark's about, really. These are all at stock. I haven't overclocked anything here. Right, so 
you can clearly see that the the newer tech, which is a fair comment because the Nvidia cards are newer, perform far better than the the AMD. But it's this is about price versus performance. I'm not bashing AMD at all. It's um they make some wonderful you know the, the products. They if you if you want your your um five gigahertz processor, bang, there you go, you know, and if you want a, a, a cheaper GPU, then they've got some fantastic offerings. But for the sake of this, like I say, this is the, the, the 250 to 300 quid-ish ish price range. All three of the NVIDIA cards top out, apart from one benchmark with the AMD card one, but that was on Tomb Raider, um, and it is an AMD game. Um, but there's a couple of other are NVIDIA games, so again, in the interest of fairness, we, we threw it all in. Um, but as you can see, the 970 for the price, if you even if you buy a vanilla one, yeah, well, you can't get a reference card, but you know what I mean, you get one of the one of the cheap ones. They are they're they're absolutely fantastic. Now bearing in mind we haven't overclocked these, um, and these are just at stock. The the actual systems are all running at 4.5 to 4.6 with 16 gig of RAM in them, so there's not too much difference around there either. Um, but the uh, the NVIDIA card is, is a clear winner. So, well done NVIDIA, well done AMD for answering the market, or well done to the vendors for answering the market and lowering the prices, because it gives people choice, and that's what, you know, that's what we need, we need competition, because if it was any NVIDIA releasing graphics cards, they'd all be £2,000 and we could never afford them, because you know what they do. Anyway, speaking of that, the Titan Z, in the UK at the moment it's dropped by another 500 quid I think they're about 1600 quid now not that I would ever recommend anyone buying it unless you need it for professional reasons but anyway there you go anyway thanks so much for watching I hope it's been helpful any comments chuck them underneath and I'll see you all very very soon